Welcome to the Chemistry, Biology and Math Revision Hub. Today we're doing the biology statistical tests. These are for AS Biology. I'm excluding the calculations because these are not examined. These two tests study a difference between results as well as a correlation. So for these statistical tests, they're carried out to evaluate if two data sets are significantly different or if they are related or if there is a correlation. When these tests are used, a null hypothesis has to be stated. And usually they say there is no significant difference, or you could say there is no correlation between the data. For correlation, it's usually between the dependent and the independent variable. Whereas for a difference, it's between two data that are collected independently. And then you study if there is a significant difference within the results. The basic concept is you begin by studying that any relationship between the two data or between the dependent and the independent variable is due to chance. And then later you can conclude if a relationship exists or not. The first one is studying a difference. This is carried out using two statistical tests. One is the chi-square test and the other is the t-test. So the chi-square test, and again, I'm not looking at the calculations because they are beyond your level. Usually, there are simple questions that are asked from these statistical tests. You compare the observed data and the expected data. This has been examined before, so you need to know about the chi-square test. And for this, because the difference is between the observed and the expected, we need to state the null hypothesis, which is going to be there is no significant difference between the observed and the expected results. A good example is in genetic studies. We have two heterozygous parents. We expect the ratio of the offsprings to be three to one, talking about the dominant recessive uh, in the phenotype. However, when the observed is different from the expected, then we could carry out to see if the difference between the observed and the expected results is significant. We use a chi-square test to do that. The second test is the student t-test. Still here, we are trying to study if there is a significant difference between two sets of data. For example, there could be a difference in light intensity or a difference in some abiotic factors. Again, here we have to state the null hypothesis, which says there is no significant difference. The dependent variable between A and B, meaning in the result between the two sets of data. For example, we could talk about abundance and distribution of organisms. They could be plants around two buildings. So in this case, we can use the student test. The second type of study could be studying a correlation. And here I'm just going to use one, which is the Spearman rank correlation. This is used to find out if a correlation exists between the independent variable and the dependent variable. For this one, we state a null hypothesis, which is going to be there is no correlation between the independent variable and the dependent variable. In Spearman's correlation, there is usually one set of data. So we change the independent variable observe the data and see if there is a correlation between the changed independent variable and the observed dependent variable. The example I have here, they could ask about a correlation between light intensity and the abundance and distribution of organisms within an area. So you will collect results from areas of varying light intensity and see if the changes in light intensity have affected the abundance and distribution of organisms within an area. So this brings us to the end of this video. Thank you for being with us. Do not forget to subscribe. See you in the next video. Bye-bye.